This is a great sip, a great stick pairing. It means you need to drink another <laughs> sip. <laughs> what he said. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Puff Sip Chat. You know what time it is. If you love a good cigar, a good glass of whiskey, and some good conversations while you're doing it, you came to the right place. Our job is to educate. I'm Stickman number one, and I'm here with Stickman Sip. What's up, Sip? What's up, y'all? How's hey. it going? Yo, man, it's a special day. Special day. Special day. So this brother right here in the middle, what they call him? What, what his name is? <laughs> what his name is? Shout <laughs> nah, this man Remy, baby. Stick man Remy is in the house, y'all. So today we're going to be um, doing a little puff sipping and chatting. Stick man original style, you know? That's how we do it here on the Puff Sip Chat Show. And it's a beautiful day. A little chilly outside. Yeah. It's a Sunday. My bucks are playing in the background. I'm going to try not to look over there to the camera. If you see me looking to the, all y'all just say, hey, Reg, take it back to the middle. All right. <laughs> and these guys, they know how yeah. much I love my bucks. We'll get you right. Uh, so by the time this uh, airs on um, Thursday, we will have gotten all up in the Colts ass. So just so everybody knows <laughs> what time it is on the Stickman podcast, a.k.a. Puff Sip Chat. Puff Sip Chat, baby. All right. So. Today, man, we are puffing on Flavor Cigars. Shout out to Kim over at uh, Flavor Cigars. She gifted us with some great sticks today. Um, we are puffing on the Flavor Bourbon Infused Cigars. How you guys think, what you guys think about it so far? I love it so far, uh -huh. very smooth. Yeah. The, the aroma, the smell of it, before you even light it up, it makes you want to light it up even faster. It does, it you does. Know? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. We don't smoke a lot of flavored cigars, but if I do smoke one, I'm smoking this one. There you go. Uh, it's, I got a full confession to make. I was always, and I've, I've always been, really anti-flavored cigars. And this is spelled flavor, F-L-A-Y-V-A, -A, just for everybody's yeah. <laughs> uh, knowledge. but. I've been always kind of, you know, I'm not going to mess with the flavored cigars. I'm a hardcore smoker, mm -hmm. right? And we always, you hear a lot of the brothers in the lounge, and a lot of the sisters that are the hardcore smokers say, nah, stay away from the flavor. It has kind of like this stigma, a stereotype to it. Right. Not so with this. No, no, no. This not is so with this at all. This is good. Well, my first experience, uh, Kim had gifted me one mm -hmm. months ago. You mm -hmm. always getting free shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the presentation. That's, that's <laughs> I love the presentation. So I took it home and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna smoke this. Well, uh, it got smoked before I could smoke it. Oh, somebody else yeah, beat you somebody, to it. Somebody else beat me to it. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, so now that I'm smoking this one, it's very smooth. Um, I love the, I love the scent when you first take it out the package mm -hmm. it's really nice the the flavor is not overbearing it's not overbearing it's at all it's light it's it's a nice hint of it but um and you had mentioned something earlier you said once you start smoking it, it after a while the, you don't even taste the flavor anymore you, you, you don't taste it it's, i mean it's you just, taste it it's there but it's it's, it's so subtle it's, it's so it's so subtle so mm -hmm. uh you know kudos kudos cam on getting this and, and preparing it the way it's been done it's, it's it's really good well done on this and we are these this happens to be a medium body right. uh, cigar, and it's uh, infused with aged bourbon. Kind of has a little bit of a nutty taste. Right. It. right. So yep. good shit. Good very, shit. Good. All very, right. Very Shout good. out to Flavor. Shout out to Flavor. And their line they actually have quite a few different uh, sticks as well, where you get the Johnny Walker Black <laughs> okay. infused, which I have not tried yet, but I will try later. Um, they even got a peppermint and a brown sugar. So nice. a lot I of, saw lot the pina colada yeah, as well. Love pina colada. Pina I actually colada, had a right. pina colada this morning. It oh, was okay. actually really good. That's, that was kind of my my uh, test the cigar, out, yeah. and uh, and I was impressed. I was impressed by it. Had a little hot chocolate, and they got the red bone berry. That's interesting. Red bone berry. Red bone. Red bone. Baby. Kim, you're coming those. back, baby. You're coming red back. Bones the, coming red bones coming back. Why? Why was that even? He up? should be smoking the red bone. <laughs> that, that's what we should have had for him. We were slipping on that one. Oh, should have had him with the red bone. Red, what, red, what, what can we get these? At? Um, so you can get these at um, uh, Cigar City Club. Okay. Is one of the and you can go to flavorcigars.com and okay. order some uh, for yourself as well. All right. Um, so today we are puffing on the flavor, but today is about something else. I just want to lick the bottle. Is that okay? <laughs> I just want to lick the bottle. Oh, All right. Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. So. Um, this is the first in our series of single malt whiskeys in the $50 range. So first in the series, and we start, we're starting off with the McAllen, the McAllen 
12 year old double cask whiskey. All right. Nice classic looking bottle. Nice Car amber kind of honey looking flavor. Caramel yeah. Color there. Yeah. It's a beautiful bottle. Nice presentation on the box. Um, you know, and the box actually says honey, citrus, and ginger. We're going to find out just a second. For real. We're oh, yeah, absolutely. We're going to find out. So uh, we're ballers on a budget, as I always like to say. We could go and get the $100 bottles, but we try to stick for, when you think about everyday pours, when you think about something that's affordable, that most of the world can turn to on, on that hard day after work, you know, you're coming home, or just want to chill at the house, and you don't want to break the bank, $50 or less is where we're kind of staying around at. So you ready to get into it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's Absolutely. Get into it. Please. Please do the honors. Stick man, Remy. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. So Remy's going to pour for us. And while he's pouring, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So the 12 year, do you want to know why it's double cast? It's actually aged in an American oak as well as a European oak uh, cast. It creates a kind of a distinctive warm character is what they tell us. Um, it really kind of focuses on the indulgent flavors of the American oak is really going to be more prominent than the uh, European oak. And I'll be honest, I told you guys on the podcast before, I don't have the best taste buds when it comes to discerning between American oak or European oak. So I'm going to take that word for it. But this is a double cast. Uh, and the Macallan brand itself is, was established back in 1824. So like many other whiskeys we featured on here, this distiller has been around a long time, long getting time. it done for a long time. It's a classic. So let's nose this baby here. See what you get here. That's all right. Oh, this got a sweet nose. It's got very the sweet nose. It's got the sweetness. You get the citrus. Mm -hmm. You get the, you get you the, get the nut, citrus. You get I do get the nutty I do get the nutty flavors. Yeah, we got the nutty flavors in there too. Mm -hmm. And definitely, it says honey, citrus, ginger. Definitely yeah. getting that. And a little sherry. A little sherry, yeah. And that, it was Asian a sherry cast. So. Mm -hmm. Let us say what the um, pros say. This is what the pros what say the about pros this. Say. Pros say that we should be getting a creamy butterscotch mm -hmm. with a hint of toffee apple, candied orange, vanilla custard. I don't know what the hell vanilla custard vanilla is. Custard. I don't know what candy orange is <laughs> either, by the way. And a newly felled oak. Well, that big oak tree fell in front of my house last year, so I know what that no, smells not like. A fallen oak. A newly felled. <laughs> a newly felled. It's a bee. See, so you, you see how you just see, gotta will the bee. We out in here in the nature, you just and we got them. bees. You just let them. Let I don't want people. I, 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 I was, them. I was them. smashing, but um, <laughs> we need honeybees. But I think um, Peter would get on me if I smash yeah, this bee no, right leave now. Leave it, leave it be. Give the bee a little bit of the scotch. You no, know? actually, it's the honey. <laughs> it's, That's what he smelled. He, the he honey. smelled the honey, so he said, "What the hell?" And you know what? Are oh. they drinking my brother? That's what they say. So, so good nose on it. Good nose on it. All right, let's let's. Cheers, fellas. Salute. So, Hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. Wonderful Thanksgiving. Wonderful Thanksgiving. And yesterday I kicked both their ass on the golf course too. I forgot to mention that part. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Somebody on Instagram this morning when I put out a post that we were doing this podcast today hit me up and said, you guys are going to love it. And oh my God. Yes. Yes. This, this, this is, is one of my favorite McAllen's out mm -hmm. of all of them. Is it? Um, okay. So this is something... So oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention for everybody, this man right here, the reason he's our special guest today, only not only because he's an original, he's one of the Stickman originals, but he drinks more single malt whiskey than anybody I know. What about what do you say, Sim? Yeah, I, well, he's the reason he's the reason that uh, uh, I got started on this. So I was like whiskey, <laughs> whiskey. But, you know, and oh, love it. This love is it. this is incredible. Yeah. This is a great start Citrus, to the fifty dollar mark. Got a little hint of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. You get a little nutty flavor, the sherry. Mm. I mean, there's just so many. All that vanilla custard stuff. My my palate doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I never had vanilla custard, so I don't even know what the hell that tastes like. I've had custard, but mm. it was it's, years ago. It, it's smooth. It goes mm -hmm. down very smooth. There's no bite. No. Oh, there's, zero there's bite. There's no bite to this. You to say it. He's saying everything I was gonna say. So I just, <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, yeah, uh huh. That's right. Mm -hmm, that's and, right. And it is 86 proof for those who are wondering. So, you know, 86 proof is right in that kind of mid range where you're not right. going to you can sip on this all day. Oh. Is what that what that really means. And, and that's what I do. <laughs> now, little, that's what he does. A little a little fact about yeah. McAllen. They never use dyes in their in their processing mm. to, to it's it's all. The so color, this is a natural color. It's a natural color. I'm not going to say all inexpensive, but some of your inexpensive brands, mm -hmm. because they're trying to hurry up and get it out, mm -hmm. they'll add dye in it. 
they'll add dye. Mm. Um, and anything that McAllen bottles, mm -hmm. if it's even if it's another company, mm -hmm. you can't. They're like, no, you can't have dye in anything mm -hmm. we do. Oh wow! So yeah, so this you know that's just a little fun fact uh, about McAllen. So McAllen, so they have standards. All natural. It's healthy. It's healthy. Ooh, you could drink more. So I could drink more. You could drink the more. Health. <laughs> Here's the health. So what the pros say the palate should be getting, we should be getting a deliciously honeyed mm. wood spices and citrus balanced with raisins and caramel. There's the wood. Yeah, I got the wood. You got the wood. Mm -hmm. The caramel. I got a little caramel. A little caramel. Not mm -hmm. the raisins so not, much. Not the raisins. Yeah. Maybe that so adds to the sweetness. Which yeah. raisins? California or? Or the, the, the Charles, the Charles, the Ray Charles yeah, raisins? Ray okay. Ch I don't know which raisins. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that sing. There you go. There you go. All right. Because this is singing to me right hey, now. Hey. And so it's, it's paired pretty good. I'll, and that, that was going to be what? my next no, question. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to jump. jump. No, that's you good. You, <laughs> that's okay. My next question was going to be: Now that we have sipped a little bit, what do you guys think? Tell oh, me. Oh, it goes great with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't really I'm, taste I'm the like flavor this. thing on it. I'm like doing this: puff, right. sip, it's puff, right. sip. So the flavored cigars, bourbon with the Macallan Twelve, actually paid no, really it's, fucking well. It's, it's really, Excuse it's my really French good. for those who don't like me. Oh cussing. no, that's not French. <laughs> I understand that. I don't understand French. <laughs> that I understand. French. See that? <laughs> you know. <laughs> so yeah, this is this, oh my goodness, flavored cigars. Y'all did it. So I don't know if y'all well, have this, had this, it. This but, pairs very yeah, well. This pairs, this very, pairs well. very well with this. Yeah. And so the finish on the Macallan Twelve. What do you guys think? So as it goes down. How do you feel? Sip again. You go ahead on. You go ahead on. Well, top. like like a uh, like stick man Remy said, it's it's smooth. It's mm. I'm I'm a fan of smooth. I love just the smooth because you get to enjoy the taste as it go down when it's smooth versus if it's burning and you're like I'm hacking. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a very it's it's a smooth ending. Mm -hmm. it, it goes down very smooth, and you get flavors the whole mm -hmm. time while it, while it's going down, and there's no bite at all. Mm -hmm. And after you hold it on the back of your tongue for a little while, you can actually smell it through your nose too. If hmm. you hold it back there for a little while. Yeah, oh, that's wow. called aroma. Right, yeah, aroma. You can sense the aroma? No, I don't, I don't sense the shit, I smell it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you saying what you doing? Yeah, I already said yeah, Okay, so the pros say that it should linger a little bit. The oak Didn't lingers. Didn't I just say that shit? Yeah. I'm not even a pro. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You might qualify as a pro. You may qualify as a pro. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, warm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and very sweet on the back end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like and I don't understand what this means completely, but it says very drying. It means you need to p p drink another sip. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. I'm sorry. I hit the microphone. You might, you might get a loud clap. I'm what sorry, he said. Hilarious. Oh, man. So overall, man. This is a great sip, a great stick pairing. And what the McAllen folks actually say is that obviously you can enjoy it neat, which is typically the Puff Sip Chat preference. But it also goes great if you're a person that likes the whiskey ball. If, and, you, know, if, you, if you get a great whiskey ball, mm -hmm. all whiskey balls are not equal. Not all whiskey balls are equal. You're right. You got to do it right. You got to do it right. You got to do it right. You got to get one of those expensive little things that press the press ball the down. Ball, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I, you know, yes. maybe somebody can look, give us a sponsorship on that. <laughs> I don't know. We're talking about that. A whiskey ball presser. A whiskey ball presser. Yes, yeah. They got a special name for it. I don't know what that is. But, uh, they have them at um, Twin Peaks. That's right. They have Twin, Peaks. Twin Peaks. Yeah, that's right. So, um, and one other thing I found out that McAllen said, Pete, this makes a great old-fashioned, believe it or not. They actually have a McAllen's over. I don't know if I would do a single oh, malt right. with an old fashioned. I don't know if I would waste that on the old fashioned. But they actually say that it you know make a good uh, one. it makes a good old fashioned. And that that drink has become even more popular over the past. I don't know. It seems like everybody where everywhere you go, they're making old fashions yeah. left and right. But uh, to me, just my personal opinion, it does a slight dis favor. I don't think you should fuck with it. I, I, I mean, personally don't mess with a single malt like that. No, I don't either. That's what bourbons are for. Right. I, I don't say a slight disfavor. Is that <laughs> a word? It might be now. But you know what? If you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, so that's just my thing. I I like to enjoy it as is. Now, if mm. you want to take something a little a lower brand or something, I don't know, maybe. But mm -hmm. and of course, it's, of course, it's going to taste good in mm. a, a old fashioned because it's a it's a it's, it's a, a fantastic single malt. It's, it's a fantastic single malt. Yeah. I so. couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I think I did. Though. You did. So, guys, so. Final summary. I'd love to know 
on a scale of one to five, one to five cigars, that is, one being the lowest, five being the highest, how many cigars would you give the Macallan 12? Double cast, 12 year old. So, oh, well, let's go with our guest first. Well, hey, I'm a Macallan fan mm -hmm. from the 12 to the 18. Mm -hmm. And if I'm feeling. I've actually had 18, I never had the 12. And if I'm not. feeling froggy, I'll get the 21. Mm. But for me, it's five cigars. Five cigars all day. All day, every day. It's incredible. I ain't gonna I lie. I this one. I ain't gonna lie. What do you say? Well, I'm um, doing a little research and studying on it, which is why I have on my spectacles today. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thought you just, just looked, so thought you were trying to look pretty and cool, you know? Well, that, Motherfucker that, can't that, see. That, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what that is. <laughs> uh, but, but the, but the, but the work they put into it and over the years and and the history of it and what they've accomplished, um, it's. And it's always been a top of the line. I mean, mm. of course, I've learned this through, mm. you know, Stickman, Stickman Remy. Mm. I'd have to give it, I'd have to give it a five, mm. you know, hands down. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm not going to buck the trend. I was going to go with four and a half, but you know, I'm going to round up to five <laughs> on this because I really love the McAllen, you know, it's, it's incredibly smooth, uh, incredible price point. So all that said, five cigars from the Stickman originals on the Macallan 12 double, a, double cask in a sherry oak, what is it? Sherry cask with American oak, European oak, mm -hmm. can't go wrong. Get it in your local liquor store. You can actually get it online as well at several places. It's a great pour and it pairs excellent with flavor cigars. Yes, it does. All yes, right? it does. And can you invite me the next time you do the triple cast? Yes. They have a triple cast. I saw the triple cast. They have a triple cast. Yeah. It didn't fit the $50 price point. No, 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 no. So that's when we go yeah, up we and we'll go up in price. We might, we might need to put it on layaway for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, hey, uh, thank you guys for coming on. Thank you, Stickman, really thank for, you for joining us me. today, man. Hey, for this, I rushed uh, over. I'm glad I made it. Oh, yeah. And We know, almost had to do the show without him, but he's here. Right, right. They didn't want to invite me because I kicked their ass yesterday on the golf course. Oh, so you had to bring that up yet again. Can't take you nowhere. Light skinned people, man. Okay. Always. They so, got a light skinned cigar. Ooh. Yes, they do. <laughs> Call Redbone. <laughs> Call Redbone. Redbone. Uh, flavor cigar. Kim, send this man some Redbone cigars, please. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, hey, you just listened to the Puff Sip Chat podcast. Hey, get some swag at puffsipchat.com. It's winter time, so it's a little chilly outside. Get your nice hoodie. Uh, Simp's got on the shirt. Stickman original shirts out there too as well. And we got some stick rim, stick women shirts as well for those, uh, the ladies that puff and sip and chat with us. Um, special thanks to Flavor Cigars. Kim, your cigars awesome. are phenomenal. We love awesome. it. Uh, check them out, Cigar City Club, or go to flavorcigars.com. Uh, no, I'm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are, are y'all going to let me finish yes, the show? Sorry. Okay. sorry. <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. Hit that like button. Hit that comment button. Click the notification bell and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Comment, please. You can also check us out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. I'm Stickman number one. That's Stickman, Stickman Simp. Simp. Stickman Remy, baby. Hey, Puff Simp Chat repeat. McAllen 12, Flavor Cigars, we all in the house. Until next time, I'm out. Please show your appreciation. Go get some Stickman swag, stickman.blog. We got Puff Sip Chat t-shirts. We got some great hoodies. We got whatever you need and whatever color you want to see it in. So check us out. I'm Stickman number one. Till next time, Puff Sip Chat repeat, baby. I'm out. Peace.